I, I think this pick is going to let him play the game. I think Bowser is straight up not going to let him yeah, play the game. Yeah, that is a game. <laughs> Congrats, you have access to low and mid percent neutral. So I was kind of playing devil's advocate because I thought that was going to be the matchup we're seeing. But yeah, no, Bowser versus Peach, absolutely atrocious. And that's why we're not going to be seeing it. Instead, Leon, a player who's absolutely known for that Bowser, that's his trademark. He's forced off of it before the game has even begun because he knows the kind of caliber player that Ling Ling is and doesn't want to deal with that matchup. Ling Ling trying to go in there, tries to get the dash grab. Obu extending a little bit too much. And now this is Leon's attempt to be able to coin and crush Ling Ling, but just such good awareness using Peach's float. He says, hey, I know you wanted to go this. I'm going to wait for you to chuck this egg. And as soon as you do, I'm going to be able to land successfully. Oh, that's another Wonder Wing connecting. Oh, so much of Ling Ling's damage has been from Wonder Wing. And you know, at the end of the day, it's it's just good damage for, for Leon, right? So if, if as long as he is just able to continue to find those, oh, is this going to be the confirm now? Yes, it is an amazing catch on the jump. And now Leon actually setting a stock up. Going way up there to try and, I guess, stall out the invincibility. Interesting. Oh, it doesn't even, yeah, just tries to get him off stage and see if he can get a ledge trap going. That was really smart because I don't believe up to go up it would have been a thing at that point. Just wants to go for the bit of stage control um, to be able to potentially set up an edge guard. But now Leon pressing in a little bit too far. It's so difficult to try to actually find that grab on Peach. But she's constantly floating and playing out of shield from a distance. She wants you to commit to those dash grabs so she can punish you. Ooh, and right there we actually saw the dash attack come out, but Ling Ling was a little bit out of position, wasn't actually able to punish it. And now we're at the point where, yeah, he needs to think about how he's going to get this kill. And Leon's so aware of that, not throwing out anything that can actually do it. Even when he neutral airs in his face, he's not going to die for it, especially on a bigger stage like Battlefield. He has a lot of room left to still get even more wow. percentage. This planking from Leon is so solid, too. He's just waiting so patiently at the ledge, just waiting for Ling Ling to overcome it once and then just ends up jumping right back on. This is such an amazing lead for Leon. Still still good. No longer amazing, but just good. I don't know. I would still call this amazing, not only because, you know, there's the percentage difference, but it feels like Leon has a game plan, and it's working. And Ling Ling's still kind of struggling to figure out what to do against this blanking banjo, this sort of, oh, the space that... Leon is occupying is just a, not a range where Ling Ling is comfortable going in to try and challenge it. Let's find that finisher hit out of the jab, and now these are those peach combos. Ling Ling just putting on the pressure, tries to go from the second up, but doing a little bit too much knockback with the first one, and is not going to be able to find it. But you know what? Just look at all of this damage, and now just puts Leon into a nasty position. I will say that that whole the the, the pace of I'd say like the first two or like the middle two minutes of this game where Ling Ling trying to figure out how to get the kill. And that's when he slowed down, that's when he was struggling. We see that at these lower percents, he's more than comfortable getting his damage in. And now that we're getting to that higher percent threshold again, if he can take his stock very soon from Leon, this is still a game he can absolutely win. That's all up to Ling Ling to be able to find these edge codes, but you know what? It's so hard to be able to catch Wonder Wing because Banjo just moves so quickly. He struggles to get from A to B on time and a great catch on the jump from Leon once again. He caught him mashing. He was mashing all over his shield. He was like, ooh, ooh, look how many buttons I can press. Oh, look how many safely spaced aerials I can do. And, and you know what? Side B just gets in there. Side B is just able to occupy so much space so quickly. Big ol' active hitbox, right? And you just get to armor a few things. So, G GG's. I mean, is it armor or is it invincibility? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's invincibility. It's like invincibility, so like, like that means you're not even getting, you don't even take damage. You're just like, huh. You just get a star man, dude. You just get a star man for like, half a second. I don't know. I, I do not know. So I will give it a Google, good old Google search. Uh, right. Thank you, chat, for letting me know it's invincible. Yes. So, moving on to this game, two here. Stitch! Stitch in hand. That's a win. Oh, 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 oh man! That's Are it. GG, uh, shake my hand. Shake my hand. Okay, normally when I see a Stitch, I always stream Stitch. And I can't tell you how many times a Stitch spawns in and is immediately thrown away and it's useless. It's gone just as soon as it came Ling -ling in. Ling did it. He, he did what it needed to. Oh, it was amazing. He hit me. We grabbed it. It was three hits and it was a stop. Three hits and he was dead. He took two hits and it was 71%. Ever think about that? That's, that's, that's okay. 
That's okay. Peach needs it. Ooh. That actually reminds me of another part of this matchup specifically is going to be the item play. I know that Leon isn't a Banjo main, but he's clearly very dexterous with this character. So we might be seeing some interesting sort of like, ooh, I'm going to grab your item and try and play around with it myself. Oh my. Ling Ling just able to get there in time. Puts on all the shield pressure onto Leon, but he holds onto it so comfortably, still catching the spot dodge. Ling Ling just seek you see is incredible and so difficult to box with in contest. The fact that Ling Ling has the lead right now and Ling Ling's game plan is just, hey, let me get more damage. Let me just keep hitting you the way that I want to be. And, and as a result, it's, man, look at the lead here. It speaks for itself. Oh my. I'm, I was confident Leon had that one too. He has a good idea. He's been tracking Ling Ling's movements so well. Um, it's genuinely been impeccable. And that time, once again, just catching him, pressing too many buttons in a, in a position where he really shouldn't have been. And this is actually a curious situation. That was huge, actually. The fact that he was able to take that stock so quickly, because we've already seen that there definitely, like, Ling Ling can struggle to kill this man. Not this game, though. Not this game in the least. If you can clean up the stocks quickly, you're just decreasing the amount of time that Leon has to play the game. And, and so Ling Ling is doing everything stitch. that he needs to. Stitch. That's another stitch. He's just holding on to it as long as he needs to. Gets one hit, already putting him at 88. This is tough. Man, uh, the, the RNG gods have been in, have, saw what happened to Ling Ling in the last game and are just like, all right, you've given us the sacrifices necessary. So compared to game number one, this was just a completely different story. Ling Ling got Stitch, got a kill, and then was just able to capitalize so, so much on Leon as soon as he was able to get in there. As soon as Ling Ling was able to position himself so close, back he was neutralized, down tilt, just pressuring and pressuring his shield, punishing spot dodges. Leon could not find a way to be able to get some breathing room for himself. Yeah, it's... I mean, a big part of that was... Oh, bless your heart, Ryan. Oh. Three, oh, we're keeping two, ourselves hydrated. Shout out to my little food. Go. Yep, yep. Okay. Providing so. us with liquids. Anyway, so now we have game three between these two. And I, it's so hard to try and figure out, based on the last two games went, what this game is going to look like. Because they both felt so independent of each other. You know what I mean? Like, last game started out so brutally quickly. There's no way that th there's, like, definitely a possibility that that can happen again here, even without a Stitch Face. Let's not forget the absolute devastating combos we know Ling Ling has the ability to dish out. Yeah, but Ling Ling is just not going to be able to put that into play quite yet. His corner pressure on Leon has just been phenomenal. Leon hasn't been using Wonder Wing out of the corner. Ling Ling has just been safely pulling and tossing turret ups. And as a result, he was able to get so much damage onto the boy. And now what's the play? Crossing him up, puts himself into a juggle. I love how Ling Ling is just trying to ease himself out of different states of disadvantage. Out of the corner and maybe onto the platforms and puts himself onto a juggle. He's just trying to keep uh, Leon on his toes. But look at that. Look at the way that he's just following him no matter where he tries yeah. to go. It was, it's, Ling Ling went up to the top there, went for that high recovery, and it worked for about a second and then it stopped working. Yeah. Like, Leon realized, okay, now I know how to deal with that. And he started jumping up with tilts and everything. So, this, this matchup, you can see the adaptation and the responses being dealt immediately from both players. And, and therein lies the fundamental issue of playing the floaty, right? It's being able to land. Leon is just able to track Ling Ling so well and just able to get under him and put hitboxes in places that Ling Ling can't really contest. So Ling Ling just needs to be maybe a little bit more creative, maybe a little bit more patient as he waits for those openings. Oh, I like that. It went low, knowing that the Wonder Wing was going to be coming for him. But in the end, a fist came for him anyway. We now have, a, honestly, what I would call a pretty sizable lead, just in the fact that it is a stock lead. Who gets that drag down there? He gets a multi jab out of it, just putting on so much damage onto Ling Ling already. Just getting everything that he can out of the stock lead. Oh, Ling Ling, he's swinging for the fences right now, just slapping that crown whenever he can. In the end, the neutral air, the much quicker option, ends up being able to take the stock. So that means that Ling Ling only took about 34%, not unmanageable for him at the moment. Oh, he's waiting through that in, doesn't find the conversion, although has the right idea. Maybe a little bit too slow uh, with the back end. 
love just setting up a down B there to maybe for this attack option for the Ling Ling. So it's just like a big ticking clock on him. game. Honestly, we're seeing him slow it down, recognizing the fact that one misspaced aerial from either player can lead to so much damage. Dire consequences for sure. Ling Ling has been, like, look at this, he's been always on those platforms. I think a lot of the times willingly retreating to them, but nonetheless, they're not a great position for him to try and turn things around. Oh wow, and that time Ling Ling finally finding that conversion, putting Leon into the corner. Love that pressure with Saibi because even if it ended up hitting shield, it would have just reset the situation. Two Wonder Wings on deck. Ling Ling's just gonna have to be every so present of them. But you know what? Leon hey. uses it to get out of the corner. Once again, Ling Ling just needs to try to bait it with either the short hop and land. But when you're the floaty and a lot of your game plan revolves on you jumping and being in the air, that is where side B for the banjo just comes into play. Ling Ling cleans up that stock so quickly though. The fact that he's not letting any sort of real gap and build between them, that's massive. Oh man, the fact that Leon has been just pressuring him so consistently. Look at that, look at that float cancel neutral into a grab. You just locked into shield. That's a nasty position to be in. <laughs> Another one of those meaty forwarders coming out and connecting on Ling Ling. I feel like every single time Ling Ling has tried to jump off of a side platform or jump to the top platform, he has been consistently getting punished for it. He has not been able to find a way to land against Leon quite yet. That's that down throw. Tries to go for the forward throw. Is that one going to be able to connect? He waits for the option. Tries to go for the dash attack as coverage, but just a little bit too far away to get it. Is that going to cover the cross up? Not quite yet. Ling Ling uh, hanging on by just a little That's bit cool. here. This may be it. Yep. In fact, the up tilt is going to be taking it. Now, if you think about it, Ling Ling probably, I don't think Ling Ling knew about Leon's banjo going into this. You know, he probably had the mentality of, oh, it's another Bowser. I know how to deal with Bowser. I just do Peach things, and Bowser can't really do anything in response. Yeah, uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen Leon's banjo too often recently, but I know I'm glad I'm glad he's like pulling it out in the relevant matchups. He's just not making it more difficult for himself than he has to be, right? He's able to play a little bit of Smash Bros instead of the Peach show and then maybe try to get a couple of hits when he's 80%. Here's a genuine question. Would counter from Peach be useful against all of the grenade play? I know it's like it locks him into places in his committal, but like just to maybe prevent him from being so eager to throw out those grenades? That's a good question. That sounds like some Game 5 mix-ups that he'd like to throw out, but also that's quite a commitment in of itself. Um, Ling Ling just needs to be able to get close enough to Leon to the point that he doesn't even have time to be able to go through those grenade pulls. Or counter to land. Mm -hmm. Ling, Ling, Ling Ling has been going through a lot of float timing mix-ups, right? And that time, finding the punish on the side, be going to be getting a good amount of damage and more importantly, stage control as a result. What coverage? <laughs> he went right there, floated down, wanted to get the grab, but Leon was just ready for it. Leon's low. He's still taking a lot of damage, trapped in the corner, but these cheeky little moves keeping him alive, keeping Ling Ling from finding any kind of finishing hit. Why does I say that? Yeah, as you say that, yeah, commentating skills always always comes into play when you need it the absolute least. I mean, I think it just speaks to the fact that Ling Ling had always had a plan, a next step already in mind. He's like, ah oh, yes, I am not being able to get these finishing hits until I do. He's oh. really looking for it, gets that fade back side, be not gonna kill quite yet, but has the right idea. Sets up another juggle. This is such a nasty position for Ling Ling. He tries to go low. Leon's just waiting. He's sitting at goal distance, just waiting for Peach. Peach has one of the best goals for the legend in the game. And you know what? Up tilt just going to be able to clean it up. Leon keeps catching these landings. I'm surprised that Ling Ling actually decided to try and land into him. Ling Ling did have the lead. He, I'm not necessarily saying he could, oh, he would just try and stall out at the top there. But he definitely could be more reserved with how he gets back down to the ground. He's under no pressure. That time Ling Ling has the grenade in hand, tries to maybe catch his side, be halfway through. This is such a nasty position for Leon. Still is able to fight his way out of the corner. And now once again, looking for the catch on the landing. That is really the biggest weakness of floaties. How do they land? How do they get off platforms? Leon is not finding it. And there was only one Wonder Wing left. That's the last one. 
like we were seeing before, how a Wonder Wing basically kept Lingling from being able to just mash aerials. But now that they're a non-factor, he can do it all as much as he damn well pleases. Yeah. Yeah, no Wonder Wing on deck. Now we're going to be seeing Leon go for the air dodges instead of Wonder Wing to get back onto the stage. But now he has no out of corner options. He has no ways to be able to steal stocks. Leon's going to have to play really, really patiently. And, oh, that was so good. You saw the way it stitched. Um, so it all just passed it. Ling Ling yeah, yeah. isn't going to be able to find it. You know, it throws it away. Maybe he'll find another one some other time. Yeah, so the la the landings from Ling Ling have gotten so much better here in this game four. He's going in just, like, like he's so convinced. He manages to really, really try and get inside of Leon's head to, like, throw out an option, and then at the last second, he jukes him just far away enough that he actually is able to reverse it and get a punish himself. Good full hop out of shield from Leon, especially when you don't necessarily have the best out of shield options. A really common choice would be to go for full hop. You're going to position to be able to with punish your opponent's next option. Ling Ling gets that down, he finds another back, he just keeps on putting on this damage. Leon has just a, oh, excuse me, Ling Ling finds it. Leon has a bit of a ticking clock above his head. He has finite amounts of side beasts. He needs to be able to close the stock. And that's one of those side beasts taken away already. And if Ling Ling is able to do a good job of baiting them, you know, he was kind of mash aerials and then maybe stop it just as he thinks uh, that Leon's going to try and throw it out. That could be a way to at least exhaust that resource. In general, Wonder Wing is kind of, it's kind of funny how uh, if you, it, like most of the time, you know, you want to punish a move. But in a way, letting them do it with no yield is a punish in and of itself. Ling Ling, such an amazing reversal. Finds a punish on that Wonder Wing to get back onto the stage. Uh, again, Leon just keeps on throwing them out. He needs to be able to close the stock, but maybe getting a little bit too Got desperate ice. to do so. Oh, this could be it. it. Yep. He has, one, he has one bullet in the chamber. Is he going to be able to put it to good use? He might have to use it to recover here. Okay, no, gets back to the fact he didn't get killed for that dash attack was huge. He now is back on the stage. If he does about 50 to 60%, Wonder Wing could threaten the kill. And at the very least, Ling Ling will have to be scared and play around that. Back. But Ling Ling is air camping him. He's just constantly playing outside of his immediate area of effect. And a great catch on the landing. But Banjo so heavy. Battlefield going to let him live once. Not twice, though. He's not going to get that lucky. We're going to another game five. Yeah, I, I will say that that stage pick, I think, really worked out well for, uh, for Ling Ling specifically. He, there were so many points where he almost would have died, but the bigger blast zones came yeah. in and kept him alive, meaning that he was able to once again either, you know, find a reversal or extend a stock lead even yeah. further. I'm trying to really think about what Leon could be doing better here, but honestly, a lot of it kind of boils down to these folks' conservation uh, when it, uh, with side B. There were positions where I feel like Leon would have been able to get away with air dodging to the ledge instead of immediately throwing out side B, right? You only got five of those on you. You got to really make sure you're careful with them. Leon not having side B on that second stock, honestly, a bit of a fatal mistake. He didn't have an out of corner option and he didn't have that kill option. Okay. Hi, Kevin. You, they, you guys could see the, uh, the, the at least one half of that. He yeah. Was, he was in the player camera. Yeah, I, I just saw that he was in the player cam food, Ling Ling. What's, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, I have bad hearing. Did you hear what they just said? I, I didn't hear what happened at all. Uh, on Pro the st stream strat up? All right. On all the right. stream set? All right, gamers. Look at me right now. It is 2021. There is pro controller counterplay. You can go to the home menu and disconnect all controllers. Number two, you can take your pro controller and connect it to your phone so it doesn't connect to something else. Three, you can get it modded so it has like a little on and off switch on it because it doesn't come with that on default for Hold reasons. on a second. Can, isn't there like the wired one also? Or like if it's wired, then you don't have to disconnect yeah, it? Yeah, but, but, but there, there is like the wired controller, right? The power they controllers. They're, they're, they're not the Nintendo pro controllers. It is 2021. There is counterplay to making sure... Uh, it, it doesn't connect to the stream Yeah, setup. I think also the, the biggest counterplay there, there is is just disconnect it. Disconnect it and then connect it to something else so it doesn't connect. You can connect it to your phone so it doesn't accidentally connect to the, to, to the Switch again. Just do that. It's 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 amazing counterplay. <gasps> Game 5, the Bowser comes oh back. 
I... Hmm. I have no idea whether or not this is going it's to be a touch of death. Call. As soon as Leon gets hit by a falling neutral, a falling back, he'll get down, a turn up, anything. That's going to be, that could spell just the end of, of, of Leon. The thing is that if you're Lingling, you need to be converting whatever hit you get eventually into a real stock. Oh, and I love that. Yeah, you can really see the fact that Bowser is such a big body. Peach specifically, she can dance all around him. Leon is just trying to go through one of these jump callouts, not able to get Lingling Ling onto the platform, finds one falling neutral, and that's a side B, just basically putting him at half of his own percent. Love this patience from Lingling, Ling, but playing at the top platform like that's so gusky. Oh, that's another back air. Gonna be closing it out. You know, uh, Leon, I feel like he forgot the reasons why he went Banjo in the first place. As we're seeing, this is already just a massive stock lead. Ling Ling with a stitch in hand, able 89. to do so much damage. That's really 89%, and you know what? You just have to hold that. But Leon going so far off stage, and therein lies one of the big issues of Peach. If you can get out there before she does, and if you have a big old hitbox, you don't have to worry about side B. You can get out there before up B comes out, you'll be A okay. Times that neutral get up. Ling Ling tries to get the punish on it by baiting it with turnips. Not gonna find it quite yet. No tech from Leon. No tech again. And Ling Ling finds the kill as a result. Oh man. Yeah, I can understand the reason why he went to Bowser. It felt like Ling Ling had started to figure out the issues with Banjo. Uh, but he doesn't even need to figure out the issues. He already knows all of the issues that Bowser has, and he is exploiting them with no mercy. Leon trying to catch a jump out of the shield, has the right idea, but maybe a little bit too quick on the draw. Oh my. Sending him back onto the stage, really fortunate for Leon, ends up crossing up. <gasps> oh, his finger is on the button. Oh, he's pressing it. Oh, this, this could be the death of Leon right now. He had fought so hard of his way through the tournament. And now Lingling Ling here with a massive lead with just, as you said, a touch of death. Any next hit might mean the end. Even that could No claw. platform extension. No, Leon was able to miss the side plats and the top platform. So really good maneuverability there from Lingling Ling, if he still did have control. So dangerous for Leon, but able to cover the cross up without tilt. It's Bowser. Yeah, don't forget. This is still Bowser. we've seen we've seen Leon make comebacks way that less. Recovery mix up. That's the once preset directional air dodge recovery mix up. Leon once again back off stage in a nasty place. The uh, late neutral there is no one. That's another stitch. Stitch won't kill though, will it? Oh it absolutely will. What am I talking at about? At hundred and seventy. <laughs> stitch killed thirty stitch kills. Stitch actually kills less than you'd think. It's